located on the northern end of the Las Vegas Strip is the new four-star hotel, the Fountain Blue. In this video, I'm going to share some useful information that I picked up on my recent stay. The four-star Fountain Blue Hotel opened its doors in December of 2023 and includes just over 3,600 rooms and a 173,000 square foot casino. The project was developed at a cost of $3.7 billion, making it the second most expensive resort in Las Vegas, only to the nearby Resort World that opened in 2021 at a cost of a whopping $4.3 billion. As of 2024, the Fountain Blue is not only the tallest building on the Las Vegas Strip, but is also the tallest building in the state of Nevada, although you would never know it by just looking at it. Located at the northern end of the Strip is a drawback for this hotel, because there isn't much down at that end. However, there are some positives. If you are attending an event at the Convention Center, then the Fountain Blue would be the best place to stay, because it's right next door. Another convenience is the Las Vegas monorail, that ends right behind the Fountain Blue making it easier to travel up and down the strip. The monorail goes all the way to the MGM Grand on the southern end. If you want some cheap gambling and $2 snacks, just walk right across the street to Slots of Fun, which is part of Circus Circus. This place is pretty much a dump and doesn't smell the best, and if you're not into cigarette smoke, you might want to avoid. If you're craving some authentic Mexican food or you've never had authentic Mexican food, then you're in luck because there's a place just a short walk south to a place called The Big Tacos. The food is absolutely delicious, loaded with texture and flavor, all at a reasonable price. Fountain Blue has the majority of its amenities on the first three floors. The first floor mainly consists of the lobby and the high-end casino, with some retail and restaurants sprinkled in. The casino is high-end meaning you won't find any $10 to $15 tables here. The minimums will be $25 to $50, which is more the standard of the strip nowadays. The second floor is laid out in a circular fashion around the casino and the huge Island Blue Bar. There are about 35 high-end retail shops around the halls of the second floor, and everything leads to the roomy food court with a variety of options. I tried four of the seven available food court options, from pizza to sandwiches. I didn't try the taco place because the reviews just weren't that good, and there was no way it was going to be better than Tacos El Gordo. Don't expect Costco food prices here, you'll pay typical Vegas tourist prices, from $21 for a small sub and chips, to $9 for one slice of pepperoni pizza. Capons offers burgers and chicken sandwiches that are decent, but expect to pay $13 to $16 for just the sandwich. Want fries or onion rings with that? It'll cost you an additional $6 to $7. Oh, and you wanted a drink with that? Forget about it. In all, the Fountain Blue contains roughly 36 options when it comes to food. From high-end, small cafes, and poolside bites, you won't go hungry here. The third floor consists almost entirely of the massive and roomy six-acre pool deck. There are seven different pools, four bars, two restaurants, and a 2,300-square-foot gaming area. The pool area seemed to have an equal spread of free loungers to reserved and private cabanas. And even when this place is packed, there seemed to be ample room for people to spread out. The standard rooms are well laid out and comfortable, although some, like this one, are oddly shaped. The highlight for me was the multifunctional control pads located at the door and on each side of the bed. You can control not only the lights, but also the shears and blackout drapes, and there are plenty of actually working outlets and USB plugs. We found the room in the king size bed to be very comfortable. The spacious bathroom was just right for two people. The closet was completely adequate with an in-wall safe, robes, and even a handheld steamer for any wrinkled clothes. We felt the Fountain Blue set the new standard for modern basic hotel rooms, and we would definitely stay here again. The gym is fairly large for a hotel gym and has most of the equipment and free weights that anyone would need, including a sled push. 